Okay, hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today we're going to make a one brick forge. I got this idea from uh, Wayne Goddard's $50 knife book. It's a really good book, even if you're not going to make knives. There's a whole lot in there about tempering metal, grinding metal, making tools, how to make different kinds of belt grinders and, and things. But uh, I've been trying to make some forge tools for the foundry, you know, uh, crucible tongs and such. And just using this uh, propane uh, torch just wasn't doing it. So I realized I had this book, and so I opened it up and uh, uh, looked at his plans. Now what this is, this is a soft fire brick. I got it from a ceramic supply store. They're like $5 a piece, about 9 foot long, and about 4 foot wide, about 3 inches thick. It's very, very light. It's very, very porous. And you could, you could scratch it with... Uh, uh, a nail. If you've ever seen those little petty rock things that women buy to rub on their feet, you know, a uh, uh, puma stone or whatever, that's kind of what that is. So basically, to make a one brick forge, all he did was drill a one inch hole all the way through so that you could stick either, you know, a little bit of knife through if you've got a big long piece of something, it's open on both ends so you can stick it all the way through. Then he drilled another hole to put the torch in. Now, the problem is, over repeated heatings, sometimes it could crack. So what uh, Mr. Goddard did is he wrapped it in like safety wire, an iron wire, you know, just to, to kind of hold it together. And even if it cracked, it didn't fall apart. Well, as you've seen before in some other videos, I bought a welder trying to teach myself to weld. So what I did is I bought some angle iron chopped it up and uh, welded a little frame and it's not pretty but it holds it okay then I drilled a one inch hole right through there and now what we're going to do is we're going to drill the other end to make it meet in the middle alright I've just got an old spade bitch you don't want to use a new one because you know, this stuff is, will kind of dull it, but you see kind of how soft it is. But I don't want to do that all day long, so I'm going to put it in the drill. And we're through. Hey, I should be an engineer. I uh, didn't hardly miss. Goes all the way through. All right, so then we're going to drill. And it doesn't have to be pretty. Now, I don't really know if it should be called the, the one brick forge because you need something to get it up to height for your propane torch. Now, Goddard says, and since he's the expert, I'm kind of going to go with it. Goddard says, and since he's the expert, we're going to go with what he says. That you don't need to put it all the way in. You kind of want the flame to lap around. Okay, we'll let that thing get hot for a second. Uh, probably about, you can see it's already starting to get red hot. Probably about a minute or so, this thing will be hot enough to start melting things. 
I'm gonna put this in here. And let's just see what happens. Okay, let's just put it all the way through. I mean, if we're going to play, let's play right. All right, we're going to come back in a minute or two, and let's see how long this actually takes to get heated up red hot. You see flame coming out the end? And uh, I don't know if you could see, but the, the inside of the furnace is actually red hot. And the metal is, is also red hot. Um, but it ain't completely red hot all the way through. So I'm just going to let it run for a little while longer. Okay, we've put the uh, torch out. You can see it's still red. Got this thing. There's some pliers. Look at that. All right, turn the light off. Look at that. Woo! All right, turn the light back on. If I had a use, I could uh, go beat the fire out of that and make some. But since we're just experimenting, I don't know if you could tell, but it's the inside of the fire brick still pretty red hot too. And you can use this for uh, heating up small parts, use it for tempering metal. Um, it was designed to make knife blades and other small things. Um, so until I can get around to making a bigger foundry or a bigger forge, um, this will work very well for my needs and I can just stick it on the shelf after it cools. I will tell you though in the book, which you should definitely get the book, um, not that I have, I get anything out of it other than, you know, want to share with you a good piece of reference material. But uh, the book will tell you, this thing will pick up water and if you heat it real hot after storing for a while, it can crack. So you want to kind of preheat it a little bit before you start using it in order to drive out any moisture. So uh, we omitted that step because it was already a little warm from welding all that stuff on there. So until next time, you can always catch us on our blog online at www.tngun.com. Thanks. I've got a plan.